Gary, baby. All right, three minutes after the hour, Gary has the tea and the Kahlua today. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. All right, y'all, Dwayne Wade, honey. We know he's the wonderful husband of Miss, uh, what's her name, child? I forgot it. Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union. 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 I almost blanked out on her. But anyway, Miss Gabrielle Union, we love Uh her. But anyway... Okay, now, Roxy, I want you to help me with this, y'all. Dwayne is acting like his Hollywood wife. And these men are starting to act real queenish. Maybe because we're going through Corona right now and they're a little stuck in. Now, Dwayne Wade, y'all, they're saying his eldest son, Zaire Wade, they say, y'all, he decided the reason on what school he's going to transfer to, y'all, after he was riding the bench, honey, with LeBron James' son, Bronny J, at Sierra Academy. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Zaire, who uh, is going to graduate from, Zaire, um, from Sierra, they're saying he didn't get much playing time. They're saying, y'all, that Dwayne Wade was unhappy with Andre Cavalier, the head coach at Sierra, because of the lack of playing time for his son. Now, they're saying now that Dwayne was reportedly unhappy with the attention that was lavished on Bronny James, a beautiful rising star freshman on the highly talented boys basketball team. So he's taking his son and his ball and leaving. What is wrong with these men? If your son doesn't play good, tell him he don't play good. And just let him learn how to play good. Why would you take him from the school and stuff? And be hating on LeBron James' son because they're saying LeBron James' son is a, is a great player and stuff. I mean, he's doing his job. But there's some people saying that this is sad that um, Dwayne is doing this. And there's somebody rude posted a, a post saying, honey, that maybe Dwayne's son would have came out as transgender like his son Zaya. He would have got more airtime and more publicity. Oh, uh, uh, that ain't got nothing to do with anything. That, 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 that was messed up to say. You done yeah. messed up what yeah, my nah. whole thought. Well, I'm just telling you what they said there. They said one rude follower said, honey, Zaya Zanoffa would have received more. More press attention if he came out as transgender like his little brother Zaza did. So, I mean, what is it the problem? It is crazy, though. I mean, I think it's a common thing for a parent um, when your kid isn't the star on the team, you know, to really want them to get more playing time. You, all the time you see moms on the side yelling at the coaches, put them in. And it's at the coach's discretion. I just think he's acting like a regular parent that, you know, gets upset that his kid doesn't get a lot of playing time. So it's up to the coach. Right. It's not up to the um your talent or anything well, like Sierra, that? Sierra Canyon is one of those schools that there's everybody on that roster are beast mode players. They, I mean, they top right. players in the country. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a big, huge all-star uh, team. And so if you if you you could be Zaire Wade, but at the end of the day, you still got to ball out. And if you ain't the most talented one on the team, then right. you ain't going to play much. It is what it is. But did they not notice when they sent him to the school knowing that he was going to be up against other people and stuff that he was not going to be the star of his dad is Dwayne? Of course they knew that. But maybe he oh, thought well. because he was a Wade and he was Dwayne's son that he was going to probably get the edge on a few people. Did he not know LeBron James' son was going there? Of course he knew that. Okay, then what not? If Dwayne is beyond under um, um, LeBron, so I mean, that should tell him your dad ain't as good as his daddy. So I mean, his child. Gonna no, be that's not what that has nothing to do with their dads, Gary. It has to do with the current roster. Rock just broke it down for you. That don't mean nothing what Rock T said. I'm just telling you what people <laughs> saying. Oh, you know what my brain hurts. <laughs> so we're trying to help you out, Gary. Oh well, huh, well he ain't gonna be there no more, your child. You're so, making my so, brain hurt, Rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, we oh just got to pray. Honey. All right, moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, everybody's talking about Mike Hill. Now, even we know who Mike uh-huh. Hill is. Now, he's the fiance, honey, of Cynthia Bailey. Now, it's been reported, y'all, that Mike Hill just revealed the cover of his new book that's going to be coming out. And he said, y'all, with the help of his beautiful fiance, Miss Cynthia Bailey, honey, he said, quote, I unveiled the cover of my soon-to-be-released book, honey, and it's titled Open Mike, y'all. And they're saying, y'all, that he really wanted this cover, honey, to be really nice. And he had Cynthia on the cover of the book with him, y'all. And he said, the reason why he did, he said, because I'm stripped down, y'all, because I'm unveiling my truth. He said, I want to symbolize vulnerability and express to everyone that I no longer have anything to hide. Isn't that great? I, I mean, that love is- Mike. Yes. Yeah, he is such a good representation of a black man, of a man, period. But yeah. he definitely represents for the culture. I love Mike. Yes, because, you know, he um, on, on the show, he showed that, you know, he went through a lot of that. You know, he had a lot of women and stuff in his time and what have you. But now, honey, he's stripping down and he's letting the world know, y'all, that he's vulnerable and he wanted no longer to hide anything. And with him being in, you know, in um, journalism or whatever, he has a mic wrapped around his body and then there's Cynthia coming from behind him just hugging her wonderful man, y'all. I think I think that's a good thing. Y'all think any of the men on this show could do something like that, unveil, and, you know, just put their truth. <laughs> Ricky has. Have you written a few books, right, Ricky? He wrote a cookbook, huh? Oh, <laughs> 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 
so early. To find out yes. Let it ride. Let, let it ride. <laughs> Don't even get into it, Rick. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, oh, that's all right. Hey, my new my cookbook is coming. Yeah, my and I'm show, my, co my cooking show star wins for your information while you over there. Oh. Yeah, 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 cracking jokes. Uh, oh, no. uh, doing dish nation through your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ugly, Tyler. It's Corona time, baby. We got to do. We got to do a girl locked in, baby. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you ain't going out nowhere. You stay right here. Uh, <laughs> well, that's good. You know, me. <laughs> congratulations to my. But no, Ricky, you have a, a, a book as well. You have another book besides your cookbook that's coming out. So you have. Oh yeah, I got one. I got one coming out. Everybody, in, uh, everybody ain't gonna like it, but uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's coming right. though. Well, that's all right, honey. Hey, I just appreciate everybody for the content. <laughs> okay, okay. I appreciate the right. content. So, so since you're gonna give me content or whatever, then I'm gonna cash in. Nah. You know, you give, me, give me something. You give me something to write about. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, honey. Yeah, but it's coming. Oh, it's, it's coming. coming. It's coming uh -oh. soon, yeah. And check your local. Um, what's that? Now I'm gonna give you a reason not to like me. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Because I, I ain't, I ain't did nothing to you. And yeah. if I did do something to you, you weren't man enough to tell me. So yeah. let's talk about it in this book. Well, we yeah. they didn't like Jesus, so yes, you know, they, I, ain't, I ain't not a Jesus. I cuss a lot of him. After what I did last night, I would I'm, I won't see God. I need to repent now. But anyway, well you don't uh, we don't want them to not like that. Oh Lord, what happened, Jesus? <laughs> oh glory, honey, yeah, glory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jesus was Christ like oh, ain't the color like after I put this foot on her neck last. Oh, yeah, the color today is oh. Nimbus Cloud on the high. You say Nimbus Cloud, and on the lawn say all white. Now tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all give it up for Gary with the T.